वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ कॉमेडी अड्डा सीजन वन मैं हूँ आपकी होस्ट साहित्य राज और मैं हूँ असद रजा खान यार असद तुम आज शेव में बड़े अच्छे लग रहे हो क्या ऑटो शेविंग हो क्या हो हाँ इवन आई कुड नॉट रिकोगनाइज माई सेल्फ तुम ना शेव में बहुत अच्छे लगते हो यार यार तुम भी असद आई हेट यू मैं क्या अजीब हुसने इतफाक है तुम देसी लड़के होते ही ऐसे हो क्यों तुम्हें देसी लड़के नहीं पसंद क्या नहीं सिर्फ गोरे क्यों गोरे लड़के पैदा ही हॉट होते हैं यार सो डिसिप्लिन एंड इफ आई गेट टू मैरी गोरा आई हैव टू डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ वेडिंग्स गोरे मर्द गोरे ज्यादा मर्द कम होते हैं <laughs> गोरे मर्द जो है इतने नाजुक होते कि अगर उनपे मक्खी भी बैठ जाए ना तो डेंट लग जाता है कभी कोई गोरा मर्द बाहें फैला के रोमांस कर सकता है कभी कोई गोरा मर्द तुम्हें दूध पत्ती चाय बना सकता है गोरे मर्द बटर लगाते हैं देसी मर्द बटर खाते हैं असद यार दुनिया चांद पे पहुंच गई है तुम ऐसी बातें कर रहे हो पाकिस्तानी इज ऑन द मून इन लाजून फॉर द मून स्पीकिंग ऑफ द मून आर नेक्स्ट कमीजन इज एन एब्सोलूट स्टार इज दी श्रीलंकन लाइन अप ही डर्ड ऑफ उर्दू बट येट ही फैन फेवरेट अमंग ऑल दिज इन दुबई His expressions will leave you in fits. Our very own Gaul boy, put your hands together for Rushdie. Hello. I am the only Sri Lankan comedian in the world, and they picked me up for this because the Bangladeshi guy couldn't finish his shift. So, <laughs> getting the opportunities, it's very nice. Nice to be here, Comedy Arda. Get let's get a nice picture so that I can put this on my LinkedIn profile. We get some jobs. Ah, Sri Lanka. Has anyone been to Sri Lanka here? Thank you so much. You financed my trip here. We <laughs> we get a commission, so I'll get five dirhams for every person who comes. I love it. Thank you so much. Sri Lankans, man, what do you know about you? Where did you go to Sri in Sri Lanka? Oh my goodness. Okay, Candy. And how was it? Did you did you spend money? What's wrong with you guys, man? <laughs> Come on. How did you not spend money in Sri Lanka? You guys are so Indian. You didn't spend money in Sri Lanka. Man, this is why we're not a developed country. We're still trying. We're still trying. The thing about Sri Lankans is it's it's like my name. People don't believe I'm Sri Lankan. It's a problem for me cuz my name is Mohammad Rishi Rafiq. They're like, "Why? Why? Why? Why?" I'm like bro I didn't choose this name Mohammed so that I can be picked up in every western airport <laughs> Rushdi who has like anti islamic writer who has 10 million USD bounty on his head <laughs> Rafiq the name they call every guy in a grocery store I didn't do this purposely <laughs> this wasn't a choice I made <laughs> No no your name doesn't sound Sri Lankan I'm like what does that mean what what do you want it to sound No it has to sound like you're falling down stairs danana janana banana ganana sanana manana I'm like It's not required, man. It's not required. I know the most Sri Lankan guy, though. His name is Dhananjay Subramaniam Nanayakara Arachige De Silva. Bob. <laughs> All of that is on his passport. <laughs> he's got an extended passport. It's like A4 size. Uh, it's it's weird though. He's a DJ, so he gets to put his name on the radio. It's kind of D D D DJ Dhanan 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 Dhananjay Subramaniam Nanayakara Arachige Ge 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 De Silva Bob. <laughs> That's pretty much the radio show. He just plays that for like one hour. That's it. that's pretty much it. I'm living the dream. Um, I'm actually living my father's dream because I'm an accountant. So <laughs> he's really proud and broke. <laughs> like he didn't think it through. <laughs> he thought I was in his investment. The thing about my dad is, man, and you can cheer if your dad's the same. They're super lazy. They're super lazy. You, did you raise your hand? <laughs> Can the audience please look at who raised his hand? <laughs> oh my goodness, you're such a judgmental kid. <laughs> my dad, man, the most he does is dig his belly button. Like that's a workout for him. <laughs> Digging his belly button is like the most stuff he'll do. The other thing is when he gets up and sits down and he'll make that tennis noise. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm like you're not doing that much work. <laughs> It's fine. The last time he got an injury it was while he was digging his belly button and standing up. That was like really bad for him. He's going through a tough time. He's so lazy. He named me Muhammad. His name is Muhammad. <laughs> That's why he's so lazy. You can imagine the doctor saying congratulations. You have a son. Oh, very nice. 
What will you name him? Uh, he takes out his ID card. Mohammed. <laughs> uh m u o m o uh, copy paste it's okay just copy paste just take it no problem my mom on the other hand who's fallen in love with my dad she's just as crazy crazy moms anyone has a crazy mom everyone does don't be ashamed i know all moms are crazy my mom she's two things she's obsessed with memory and bada these two things i don't know who has taught her that there's some sort of link yeah, she's ain't i'm i always get frustrated i'm like mom What is it with the almond milk, the almond water, the almond rice? Who 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 told you this? While eating the badam itself, she's like, I don't remember. <laughs> this is how, and you just have to accept it. You're just like, cool. Like, my mom, man. I feel bad for my mom because I've been telling her, don't tell people I'm an accountant. Say I'm a stand-up comedian. It's so much cooler in my head. But her at the kitty parties, I feel so bad for her because she has to listen to Divya. and priya you know talking about their kids oh what does your kid do ah oh, my son is an engineer wow engineer clap everyone engineer wow she is such a good mother she brought up an engineer what about you divya oh uh, my son is a doctor he is in medicine ah oh, medicine everyone clap clap she is in medicine oh wow uh, what about you my son is also in medicine my mom quickly says medicine Yeah, because he's a stand-up comedian. Because laughter is the best medicine, no? <laughs> I love you, mom. And now you're in this video, so yeah. Man, being being a Sri Lankan is tough because I went to school in the Middle East and uh, I was hanging out with Indians and Pakistanis. I say hanging out. I was just with them. <laughs> they were just they didn't allow me because I didn't understand a lot of stuff. But I learned quickly. Like I thought my pet name was Gada <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> I was, I was like Rushdi. They're like Gada. I'm like, why, why can't you guys get this? It's okay. They're Indian and Pakistani. The speech is difficult for them to catch on to these words. Finally, I realized. Oh my goodness! After watching Hindi movies, and then I fought back. There was this big group of guys, and they were like, "Hey, Gada!" I was like, "Hey, tum sare gulam log hamara juti ke niche hi rahega." Ah man. I was unconscious after that. The first time I saw Pakistan and India unite was to beat one Sri Lankan. It was true, true togetherness story. Eventually, I had to move. I changed schools and I got promoted. I got promoted to Khabis. So I was like, I'm sure this is not a good word. I should probably consult someone. So I spoke to my mom and I was like, Mom, what does Khabis mean? She was chopping onions. She didn't even like break anything. She's chopping. She looked at me and she said. Tera baap. It's like Baba, Baba is Khabis. Hmm, this is weird. Next day I go to school. They're like, Hey Khabis. I'm like, Hey, say say bol me Khabis ka bacha hua. Hey. Ah, sorry dad. And now you're on this too. Man, being Sri Lankan though, it's the toughest part about being Sri Lankan is what the Arabs have done to our name. That's the saddest, most depressing part. Because Indians, they looked at Indians and then you were. You know what we're gonna name you? You guys are Hindi, yeah. You guys are big, strong. Sounds nice. You guys are Hindi, yeah. Pakistanis, I'm afraid, so we'll call you Pakistani. This little element of danger, Pakistani. Sri Lankans, Sri Lanki. We'll call you Sri Lanki. We'll keep it small and uh, disease maybe. I don't know, like useless. Sri Lanki, you can just like kick it. It's nothing. That's something you would tell like a terminally ill patient. You know, when he has something horrible, you want to soften the blow. Doctor, give it to me straight. What do I have? I'm sorry. You have Sri Lanki. <laughs> oh my God! I got a massage one time from Groupon. This is what happens with Groupon vouchers. One time, and I learned this lesson in Oman. I saw the guy oh, at the immigration long line. He saw my Indian friend. Salam alaikum, marhab Hindiya. I love Hindiya. I love uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, Amir Khan, Karak Chai, Parota. I love all of these things. Come, come, my friend. My grandfather told me is actually for you. You know, Pakistani, Pakistani. I love Pakistan. I love uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan. Amir Khan, Karak Chai, Parota. I love all of these things. My grandfather told me is actually for you. Like oh god.
Mexico. Ah, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Ahmed! <laughs> Chef, Sri Lanka. You did medical test? خلاص ده medical test. So, <laughs> I didn't see Oman. I heard it's a nice place though. <laughs> looked out of the window while the guy was security checking me, is what I call it. Yeah, it's fun, man. Uh, being in Dubai, it's tough because now I'm supposed to get married. So my life doesn't matter, apparently. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Their opinion. Um, I'm on shadi.com, by the way. Uh, Gall Boy 89. Just look up. <laughs> Check my profile. Well, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. Eventually, I'll give up. But yeah, th- there's a white guy, Gora guy. He came and he gave me advice. He's like, bro, all you got to do is, yeah, you got to treat her nicely, make her laugh, and then say the key words, your place or mine. I was like, oh, this is nice. I never thought of this technique. Took a girl out, had a nice time. A brilliant time. And in the end of the night, I realized, oh my God, I can't say that line. So I changed it for me, the desis. And I said, your father's place or my father's place? <laughs> Ended up going to her father's place. Her dad's a really cool guy. I don't know the girl's name. I'm starting a business with the guy <laughs> next week. So. Textiles business because he's a Sindhi guy. So it's happening. <laughs> Making money moves. <laughs> I'm going to make some money, man. I forgot her name. <laughs> Happens, I guess. I wish I was black, though, man. I wish I was black. Because being black, ah, it's easier, man. Uh, the women, I don't know what it is, but I, I think it's to do with the singing. Like, you can sing songs and they're like moved by it. Usher does it all the time. She sees a woman. Shorty, I don't mind if you work on a p- doesn't make you a p-. Chick's like, oh, wow. I like this guy. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'll just use the same strategy. See a girl. I- it worked a couple of times. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> it worked. You should try stuff, man. Like I was, I started listening to different music. I realized one thing. Oh my God, I love Justin Bieber. Like Justin Bieber is so good. I don't know why more people don't like him. And then I listened to one of his songs and I was like, why is he singing to Indians? He's singing songs to Indians. That's so unfair. And then I'll just sing it. It broke my heart. I sang a song. It's called, What Do You Mean? What do you mean? Oh, when you nod your head, yes, but you want to say no, what do you mean? It's like, Justin, why do you do this to me, Justin? Anyway, it's Justin Bieber, I'm a, I'm a grown man. <laughs> it's wrong, it's wrong to like Justin Bieber. I tried going to clubs because... I don't know. It was a bad idea, and to be honest. Once I was walking by a club and the bouncer came, he tapped me on the shoulder and he said, Boss, no yoga. No yoga. I was like, dude, I'm just passing by. It's not even, like, I didn't even want to get in. I was thinking about it, but I, I didn't dream that big yet. <laughs> why, why would you hurt my feelings? <laughs> like, once I got in, man, I got into the club and it was so crazy. I felt like, you know, the Portuguese were back in Sri Lanka because I was getting instructions from the DJ. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! I was like, oh man, I worked so hard. (laughs) I don't want to put my hands up. I just want to chill, drink this 40 dirham water. I'm like, like, this has to last me (laughs) until 4 (laughs) a.m. I'm holding the water like this. (laughs) Like it's holy water, something. (laughs) water. I'm going around. I was like, I can't. I can't spill this water. This is half my salary. I can't. It's crazy. Crazy. The DJs, what are they shouting, man? If you got a hundred dollar bill, put your hands up. I put all my savings on the floor. It was like hundred dollars. This is Sri Lankan rupee. <laughs> Leave this. <laughs> That's not happening. Dude, what is if you think you're a gangster, put your hands up. I'm waiting. If you think you're an accountant, put your hands up. He'll shout it. <laughs> He'll shout it now. <laughs> Just sit silently with my water like this, waiting. <laughs> I'm going to open up my own club, man. And, you know, everyone can join. It'll be fantastic because it'll be super relatable 
to normal human beings i'll get on the deck pull up the mic are you guys ready put your hands up if you think rents are high put your hands up if you think rents are high put your hands up if you got credit card debt put your hands up everyone be like ah! <laughs> and then, are you ready if you got fooled by inshallah put your hands up people just be running naked in the club <laughs> it'll be mostly dudes <laughs> but you know it'll it'll make some money <laughs> the water will be like 30 bucks so i'll reduce the price i'll cut costs and the reason man the middle east i love dubai i love football and that's that's everything for me man football commentary on football is the most important thing it what keeps it great and football is made in the uk and the commentary is rubbish Commentary is good evening ladies and gentlemen are we ready for this game Arsenal versus Man United David De Gea with the ball passes to Marouane Fellaini Marouane Fellaini to Angel De Maria De Maria to Van Persie Van Persie Wayne Rooney goal fantastic like okay that was okay that was okay the arab guys bismillah rahman rahim salam wa alaikum arsenal manchester united david agia david agia david agia allah ya david agia and david agia is just holding on to the ball he's like oh my god what's up should i be doing more things <laughs> he's holding on to the ball <laughs> david agia angel da maria da maria de maria Uh, what's happening in the commentary box dude and the maria marwan fil aini he made him he made him egyptian marwan fil aini fil aini when rooney when rooney when rooney when when akruni robin van persie goal khalas batman robin number 1 allah all right guys that's my time <laughs> humbly accept that as an exit thank you guys that was script for that oh sorry to push it to where my jokes it's on improv sir man as you always do it did it that it actually did it you see your jokes oh you know jokes i know he's going first i do yours take my second kid are you allergic to penicillin <laughs> do i look like i like diabetes are you joining the captain who is joining the captain <laughs> are you saman khan i am not. <laughs> my muscles are bigger than anyone you're just doing the mime i want you to just randomly move your mouth okay first face the camera because the camera, <laughs> yeah. the camera. so <laughs> तुम यहां से जाते हो हां यहां से ऐसे लिखते हैं गायब हो गया आता अच्छा अच्छा यानी कि ये है यानी कि यू जस्ट कीप दिस लाइन एज अ बाउंड्री ना हां या यू या इधर देख यहां पे सही है तो ये करके फिर हां जरा एक और बात दिखा दो